Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I'm doing a first impressions on a palette. So I was going to Superdrug the other day, and I wasn't planning on buying anything, and I was kind of looking around the um, Revolution set side of Superdrug. I was looking at some of the palettes, and there was one palette, and there was a palette that I was really drawn to because of the colours in it. I had like a mixture of warm and cool tone neutrals, and also a few pops of colour. And for some reason I looked at it, and I could see four looks immediately that I could do with it. Um, so I thought, well, why not test it out, do the four looks, so that if anyone else was interested in this palette, they could see that there are quite a few looks you can do with it. Obviously there are more than just four, but these are four looks. And um, it's actually a collaboration palette, so it's the Revolution collaboration with Imagination. And it's a really beautiful packaging, actually. It's quite cool. Um, like, was it? Duochrome, orange, uh, orange purple and silver which I think is really pretty. So Imagination or Imogen is a fellow YouTube is a YouTuber here. So so you still got the nice packaging there. The only thing I don't like is the fact that it goes to this colour on the back. I don't I mean I understand they couldn't have it all the way through maybe didn't want it all the way through but I don't know if I like the pink. Not that that's actually a big deal really. So let's open it up. So you get all these lovely shades in here. And this is what the palette looks like. So like I said, you've got warm tones and the cool tones in neutrals. There's a few pops of colour, lovely shimmers, a good section of mattes and shimmers. And like I said, there were four immediate looks that I could see when looking at this palette. So I thought, let's do first impressions on it and do the four different looks. I've managed to actually, when I thought about the four looks, I think I can try out every shade as well. So I can actually test out every shade of, in this palette. But I just think it's really beautiful. And what she's done is in the middle section, the more kind of go-to neutral tones, she's made bigger pans, because obviously they're the ones that kind of get used up first. So this was £10, I believe, which is kind of standard for a palette like this from Makeup Revolution. It's cruelty-free and vegan, which is always a bonus with things like this. So, yeah, I'm going to test this palette out, see what the eyeshadows are like, and at the end I'll give my final thoughts and whether I think... This is a, if you were thinking about getting this palette, whether um, I think it's a good idea. Even if you don't watch Imogen, I still think it's a really nice kind of palette and colours in there are really great. So, let's get started. So obviously I'm going to prime my eyes. I'm going to take the um, Lily Lolo primer off. So actually before we get I should say that the colours that really I was really drawn to when opening at this was Butterfly, this beautiful kind of blue, light blue, frosted blue colour. This one which is You Know, because I don't really have a colour like this. And then the berry tones over here I was really drawn to, so like Trying It, Trying It, Berry Blast, Raise and Praise, and I like this black, they've got a black in here as well. So so the first look, I'm going to go with more of the warm tones, incorporate that red, like I said, because it's one of the colours that really drew, I was really drawn to. So I'm going to start with, like I said, this is one of the colours that I was drawn to, you know. So um, I'm going to start with the kind of warm, a more warm tone look with oranges and the reds and stuff. So I'm going to start with the shade Honeybee first, on a fluffy brush. And pop this through the crease. So it's a nice, good shade. It's blending out really nicely. One thing I will say is you do get some fallout in the pan, but once you tap off the brush, it's not going to fall down on your um, face. So that's fine. So it's not a lot of fallout where it's going to like you're going to use up this shadow really quickly. It's just like a little bit when you dip the brush in. So that I don't mind. Super Drug, in Super Drug Makeup Revolution or Revolution Beauty, as it's now called. Is one of my favourite brands. I think they do some really. What is that? That's an eyelash. They do some really good products and almost. They do some really good products if you're actually starting off as a makeup artist because some of them actually perform really well. And actually, some eyeshadow palettes, if you were starting off, you could use as um, in your kit because obviously, building a kit is very expensive, trust me. And. Um, 
I think actually if you wanted to use eyeshadow palettes from Revolution, I think it would really work for a kit as well. So I'm just going to obviously build up on the oranges, so I'm going to take the shade Mills just here. I'm going to keep it on the same brush. And work this also into the crease. Ooh, yeah, this is going to really warm it up now. I'm not getting any like skipping on the eyes or anything like that. Oh, sorry, I probably should zoom you in for closer, shouldn't I? As you can see, what I'm doing. Everything looks like it's blending really nicely together. I'm going to switch to a smaller brush now. So I'm going with a smaller brush. This is the Luxie 231. I'm going to take the shade. I'm now going to take the shade Yulo, which is a very beautiful red colour. And I'll start working this ooh, onto the lid portion. Mainly focusing on the outer section. But bring it through the crease as well. Really pretty colour. Like I said, I don't really have anything in my collection like this red, I don't think. I've got a few nice, like, deep reds of, like, the Nip and Fab jeweled palette, but not anything that's a bit brighter. And actually, this colour would have been perfect for the Strictly look that I was going for. Take a bit more of Mills and just use that just to make sure everything is nice and blended. I'm actually going to take the shade Loving Life, this matte creamy colour here, because I don't think I want to add any shimmer to this, I want to keep it a matte look. So I'm just going to pop this kind of in the inner third just to brighten up that section. I can use it just to pop it on the brow bone. It's probably a bit too dark for me for my brow bone, it helps blend everything out. And you know what, I'm then just going to go in with some mascara now and I think that'll be, that's look number one complete then. Okay, so that's look number one complete. Like I said, I wanted to go for the really warm tones. That kind of reddish shade was really calling my name. So I wanted to do something like that. Um, and I've just kept it to the upper lash line. Keep the lower lash line bare for this first one. But I think it's really, really pretty. The eyeshadow so far blend out really well. Obviously, I've only used matte, so I don't know what the shimmers are going to be like in this. One thing I did think was that the You Know shade didn't, come, didn't translate as bright on the eyes as it is in the pan. Um... But it's still a really beautiful colour and still a colour I don't particularly have in my collection. And yeah, I thought they applied really nicely, it blended really nicely. Um, when you use a really fluffy brush, there was a little bit of fallout in the pan. But I didn't experience, I tapped off the brush and I didn't experience any fallout on my um, face. So that's always good. Obviously I haven't tested out the rest of the shades, so I need to do that. So I will go ahead and do look number two. Okay, first of all I'm taking the shade Loving Life. It's a really nice... Um, kind of peachy toned transition shade. I'm picking this on my Luxie fluffy brush and I blend this into the kind of crease area and kind of smoke it out, blend it out to kind of act as my transition shade for this look. And just like the rest of the shade, I thought this was very nice and blendable and a nice kind of colour on the eyes. Okay, then I'm going to show you two nice, which is a slightly deeper shade. And I wanted this so it kind of built up the crease area, adds some definition. And in person, I really didn't think it did anything to the eyes. It didn't seem like it really showed up on top of Loving Life. Looking back now on the screen and on the camera, you can see a slight difference between the eyes. But still nothing major. So I was kind of 
um, a bit surprised by that because it did seem like a slightly deeper shade. I kind of wanted to just build up my transition shades Alpha Blend, but it didn't really make a difference. So instead, I went with the shade OK um, on the same brush, and to kind of this really did to help add definition to the crease and slightly deepen it as well, which is kind of what I was going for with that too nice shade. Then I went in the shade Baby Girl, which is a nice kind of um, shimmery orange colour. I packed this on with my Bold Metals Real Techniques brush. It's a really pretty shade, but I felt like it needed something more. So I did go ahead and I actually went and wet the brush. So then the eyeshadow looked much more full, slightly wet looking, and gave off much more of an intensity look to the eyes. I didn't want this look to be particularly um, bold or intense or anything like that kind of the kind of more neutral shades but with a pop of shimmer um, and keep it quite soft looking so I'm going the shade it's sorry not sorry on a small brush just to kind of build up the outer corner and add some definition there and I really apologize because my camera suddenly the lighting's changed I'm not sure why um, so I suddenly went a bit more orange than usual it kind of just fixed itself eventually, but I apologise for that. And then I ran some of that, um, I tried some of that too nice underneath the lid, just to, underneath the eye, sorry, just to see if it did show up. And actually, it you can see there is some colour to it, but it's not a very intense colour in the slightest. So I think it's more of a transition shade to use, um, so if you're using Loving Life, I wouldn't use Too Nice, but if you want to go in something else, I'd go in Too Nice as a transition shade instead. And then I go in with some of the kind of um, Sorry Not Sorry colour, just to deepen up the outer portions. And then I go in with the shade Huns, which I use on a really small detail brush. I do not wet this brush, and it comes off really, really pretty. So I don't know if it's because of the brush I use for Baby Girl, or the kind of eyeshadow that Huns is. But with a smaller brush, this came off so um, beautifully, and I really like this look. So that is look number two complete. Okay, so for look number three, I did go in with Too Nice. I just wanted to see if you could use it as a transition shade and build it up. And as you can see, it is definitely, definitely shows up on the lid. I just think maybe you kind of... This is meant to be a transition shade as well, so you either go in with Loving Life or Too Nice to kind of build up your transition shade. You can't really go in with one or then the other because they don't really show up on top of each other. Um, but as you can see, it shows up nicely and it blends out really lovely as well um, and things like that. And then I'm going with the shade OK just to kind of build up my crease section and add some definition there. So I decided with this look that I want to go in with those typical halo spotlight eyes because I really do like that kind of um, eye look. Then I go in the shade Sorry Not Sorry and I kind of pack this onto the outer portion and the inner portion that I lid just to start off the kind of halo spotlight eye effect. And just make sure the outer, the crease section is nice and blended. Then I went in the shade Imagine. And I kind of pop this again on the outer inner corner of the eyes. Just to add a lot more depth to it and a lot more definition. And 
and again make sure everything is nice and blended. And then I go with one of the shades that really stood out to me, Butterfly, on another small brush and really pat this onto the inner section of the eye and as you can see it does give off a really beautiful sheen to the eye so again this time this is not wet or anything like that this is a dry eyeshadow but just using a really small definer packing brush which I think makes a difference actually with kind of shimmery eyeshadows And make sure it's nice and blended. And I do actually wet the brush to see if it makes a difference with the butterfly colour. And I personally really don't think it does make a difference at all. I think it's because I'm using such a small compact brush that actually it kind of really shows how intense that eyeshadow is. Then I'm going with Sorry Not Sorry and run this along my lower lash line. Then going in the shade Imagine and kind of popping this onto the outer and inner portion of my lower lash line using my Kiko pencil brush this time. So I'm going to try and mimic what's going on on my lid to my lower lash line. Then going with the shade Butterfly. And obviously popping this right in the centre section of my lower lash line. And then from my inner corner I decided to go with the shade Angel. Which is a very really beautiful kind of... Um, it's kind of a champagne shade but more on the yellow side. So not a gold but definitely more of a champagne shade I'd say. And then I popped on some mascara and this is the second look, or third look, sorry, complete. So moving on to the fourth look, and actually I think is my favourite look. I went with Pinky Promise first, and this is acting as my transition shade. This is much more of a berry tone look that I'm going for today's video. And like I said, I think it's my favourite look out of the four, for sure. Then going in with trying it and also on the same brush but not quite as high up I'm popping this into the crease and kind of a little bit onto the lid as well I'm buffing this in I'm really building this eyeshadow up Then going in with Berry Blast on a slightly smaller brush this time and this is going to focus more onto the outer portion of the lid and I bring it slightly through the crease but not so much as the other shades. Then go in the shade Raising Praise. Now what I did is I used the same brush I used for Baby Girl in the second look but I cleaned off so I didn't realise it was still going to use quite so wet so this first I'm doing is with the brush wet and you can see it's a really full kind of more ready toned berry colour and it's really really beautiful um, but I do actually show you the difference so on the other eye I take a different brush that is actually dry and I kind of showed you how it compares in terms of the colours and it does actually give quite a nice full effect but as you can see the, my other eye gives a more wet finish much brighter finish um, it's still beautiful, not wet, but it does give more intensity with it being wet. So obviously I did go in and wet the brush and just got over the other eye just to make it match the other one. And let's make sure everything is blended together. Then go in the shade Limo, which is the black shade, and kind of really focus this right on the outer corner of the eye just to add some real depth to the eye. So I'm going with quite a dark eye for this last look. Obviously making sure everything's blended, so I take a bit more of that berry blast just to help blend that limo colour in with the rest of the look. Then 
So along the lower lash line, I'm actually taking trying it first. And then going in with some limo on a pencil brush more on the outer portion of the lid. And then going in with some trying it just to blend those colours together. And then taking raise and praise and on the putting onto the lower inner lash line. And then I'm taking a forever friend and popping this right onto the inner portion of the eye. Again using a small detail brush and making sure it's not wet either. So this is the berry look complete and the final look complete. Okay, so now you've seen all four looks that I had in mind while wanting to try out this palette. So I'm going to kind of talk through my thoughts, final thoughts and feelings on this palette, kind of give a roundup. In terms of the looks I created, my favourite was definitely the last look, the kind of berry, deep, smoky tones. I absolutely loved that. And that was kind of, like I said, I was drawn to the berry tones in this palette as well. The one actually I was kind of not so happy with look wise as opposed to the eyeshadows it was actually the halo one, I love halo eyes but I wasn't happy with how I did mine actually the angel eyes colour though, not angel eyes, butterfly colour is absolutely stunning I will say that for sure I still maintain this is a very good selection of colours Very some cool tone neutrals, some warm tone neutrals some pops of colour there and shimmers, mainly mattes which I think is actually really good actually I would say the mattes are really good quality and blend and sm are really smooth in this palette. I'd say the um, shimmers were a little bit, you know it was one shade in particular, I don't know why, it was Baby Girl. It just wasn't as shimmery as the other ones. Now admittedly with Baby Girl and Raise and Praise, I did wet the brush and it does give a much more of a foiled wet look to the eyes. Um, but the other four I didn't, apart from Butterfly, but I didn't think it actually made a difference wetting it. It was kind of beautiful enough as it, by itself. But I also think it's the type of brush I use. So I use, for these four, so Angel, Butterfly, Forever Friend and Huns, I use a really small detail brush. So, one, where is it? So one like this. This is from Freedom. It's a very small brush. It's quite dense. And it does pick up a lot of products, so I think that might have something to do with the fact I didn't need to necessarily wet the brush to get the shine. For the other colour, I used a bit more of a big packing brush, but um, so that could be the reason why. But wet, raise, and praise was stunning on the eyes. And like I said, that kind of last berry red tone, deep eye was definitely my favourite. Um, like I said, all the mattes I thought blended really nicely, and I'd say the mattes performed slightly better than shimmers. Um, with these three colours, one thing I did notice is I say they're all transition shades because I try to a couple of times use like Loving Life and then go with Too Nice thinking it'd be like a deeper shade to give some definition to crease. Similarly, I did it with Too Nice and then OK. And you could see a slight difference um, if, when I had one eye done and one eye not with the slight definition, but it wasn't. Um, once you had both eyes done, it didn't look like it had done much particularly. So I say those three are transition shades to begin with and then use the other colours to build up. Um, so depending on the kind of look you're going for, yeah, those three. Which makes sense why they're in a bigger pan as well, because you want your transition shade. This one, sorry not sorry applied, you could definitely apply them to either of those and you could see it kind of thing. So that was one thing I did notice was these three, you can't really work together because they're almost, although they're different shades, kind of the darkness of them or the depthness of them doesn't quite work over the top of each other. So like I said, use these as transition shades and use the other shades to build up in the crease and create that blend. Um, but yeah, like I said, I really love the warm tones. I think the berry, this side was my favourite, the kind of like Pinky Promise, Trying It, Berry Blast, the Raisin Praise and Limo. That was definitely my favourite look and I love the colours actually over here. See these are really nice as well and like I said, I do, Butterfly didn't disappoint I didn't think, it was really beautiful colour, um, really nice and Angel performed really nicely and so did Hans. The one thing I wouldn't say, well for me anyway, there's no real brow bone highlight, I mean you could use this one but I just think, oh maybe you could actually, maybe, why didn't I try that, hang on.
Okay, so I was wrong. There is a brow and a highlight that I could have used. Okay. Well, ignore what I was just about to say. Let's just move it on much. Okay, cool. I mean, I did try to use Loving Life as a brow bone highlight, but it's a bit too dark, but it did help blend out eyeshadows. So overall, would I use this palette again? Definitely I would, and particularly these berry shades. This, Yeah, this little section down here is definitely my favourite. Um, and yeah, it's a really kind of easy palette to use, and... I mean, yes, for some of the shimmers, you have to kind of, depending on the brush you use, you will have to wet it to get the real nice, intense shimmer look to it. But I know a lot of people do that anyway with shimmers, so just to get that extra impact. But overall, I thought it was really nice. It, the mattes, I was really impressed with the mattes, because they did blend really nicely um, onto the eyes, no skipping, like I mentioned, anything like that. Like I said, it was just those three top shades, which you can't really use together because they're really sharp on top of each other, so they're more your go-to transition shades. So, I did really like this palette, I thought it was really nice, like I said, it's, some, it's a great way of creating loads of looks, you can create some really nice neutral looks, or you can add a pop of colour in there, pops of shimmer, keep it on matte, however you like, and I think actually, like to travel with and stuff like that, it's a really good kind of, you've got all your basics in there, plus a few more. So, I think it's a really nice palette, really nice quality, and like I said, I'm pretty sure it's £10 from Makeup Revolution, which is a good price, I think, for the amount of shades you get in here, you get... One, two, three, four, five. 20 shades in here, so I think it's really kind of worth it. So, so if you were contemplating getting this palette, um, I'd say go for it because you can get a lot of different eye looks out of this. And like I said, the, the mattes are really nice quality. Shimmers you may have to wet a little bit, but absolutely fine apart from that. Or we'll just use a really small detail brush to get that pop of colour, especially in the inner pop of shimmer, especially in the inner corner. But yeah, I would really recommend this palette and I will keep continuing using it. So, um, yeah. So those are my kind of, that's my first impressions and kind of my multiple looks using that palette. Um, I really hope you enjoy this video. And with future first impressions on eye palettes, would you like me to do more than one look at the same time? Because I think actually it helps show whether there are multiple looks you can do with it. I know I do kind of one palette multiple looks but it tends to be after I've already tried the palette out but maybe I can start incorporating it within the first impressions of the palette like today's video. So I really hope you enjoyed it. Please leave any requests down below. Let me know if you've got the palette and you've tried it and what your thoughts are because um, I know everyone's different. And also let me know which of the four looks was your favourite. Like I said mine was definitely the last one, the berries and the darkness. But yeah I really hope you enjoyed this video. Um, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.